असलम एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू दी प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ फार्माफीलिया वंस अगेन विद द न्यू वीडियो ऑफ द ड्रग सीरीज दैट इज पैरोक्सीकैम एंड एज द ड्रग इंडिकेट वी आर कवरिंग द टॉपिक एनलजेसिक सीरीज एनलजेसिक ड्रग सो लेट्स बिगिन द वीडियो जेनेरिक नेम पैरोक्सीकैम एस द ड्रग इंडिकेट इट बिलोंग टू द ड्रग कैटेगरी ऑक्सीकैम दैट must be its chemical classification drug category prescribe its mean it is not used as an otc drug national essential drug list present who essential risk present feldin that is a generic name of the pyroxy camp it is available with the dosage form in 10 to 20 mg 0.5 Percent weight by weight and 20 mg per ml. Manufactured by Pfizer and here you can see the different brand name of the Feldins of the Pyroxicam. So it is available in the tablet, capsule, gel and injection form. Auricam. This is another brand name of the same generic that is Pyroxicam. With a dosage form. Tablet and capsule available is twenty ten to twenty mg, and it is manufactured by Axis Pharma. Now the third brand that is Diodex, obviously having the same generic name that is Pyroxicam. It is also available in the tablet, capsule, and the gel preparation. Available is twenty twenty mg per point five percent weight by weight. Manufactured by Per Pharma. Now, if we are talking about the pharmacological classification, so it belongs to the ANSAID family, also like the previous drugs. Therapeutic classification: it is analgesic, anti-inflammatory, and antipyretic. By its mechanism of action, obviously it is ANSAID, so it inhibits the Cox pathway and blocks the synthesis of PGs. Now, if we are talking about its contraindication, so it is not used in inflammatory bowel disease. pregnancy hypersensitivity to drug and it lie in the category d according to the fda pregnancy class it is used in the rheumatoid arthritis and its route of administration is oral and obviously it is used in the parenteral form because it is also available in the injection dosage form now recommended dose its recommended dose is 20 mg od so this is the biggest advantage of this ansir that is not belong to the any other ansir that it only required the once dosing once daily dosing and twice daily dosing duration of therapy 7 to 12 days in the oa it is used as oral and parenteral preparation with the recommended doses 20 mg od with the same duration of therapy in the alkaloid and spondylitis its route of administration recommended dose and duration of therapy is same if we are talking about the gra so its recommended dose in the gra 5 to 15 mg od according to the body weight of the child and its duration of therapy must be 5 day not minimum to the 5 days and maximum 8 days now the side effects of the pyroxicam obviously belong to the drug classification and said that are the non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs so it also having the same adverse effect of the common adverse effect of the ansid that are the gi disturbance including the discomfort nausea diarrhea heartburn bleeding and ulceration also it have the hepatic damage chances rashes dizziness tinnitus that is a ringing in the ear and the different type of the inflammation dyspepsia and increased bleeding time why increased bleeding time let me know the answer in the comment box why it is increase the bleeding time now precautions paroxicam should be used with a caution in patient with the coagulation defects and patient on anticoagulant therapy why because it increases the chances of bleeding discontinued drug or skin reaction occur because it is the contraindication of the every drug 
if you are hypersensitive to the particular generic or drug so stop that drug and not even try to use the same drug with the same classification administration guideline give with milk and acid or food to minimize gi upset now if we are talking about the drug drug interaction because it is basically answer so it have the major drug interaction with the mtx diuretics warfarin and ac inhibitor with mtx that is a methotrexate paroxicam have been competitively inhibit mts accumulation in the kidney slices so what is the outcome it enhanced the toxicity of mtx now with the diuretics it, it also inhibit the renal prostaglandin synthesis which is responsible for the natriuretic effect it outcome reduce the natriuretic effect of the diuretic with warfarin it increases the bleeding time and with ac inhibitor that is a angiotensin converting enzyme inhibit 